morning guys it is absolutely siling it down to be fair we knew it was coming thunder and lightning very very frightening me Galileo happy Friday you see the amount of water I think it's been raining five minutes. <laughs> Bob's master chef today. Can't believe that you, you relinquished your room um, cooking. Uh... I've got his food now, have I, Dad? No. No, everything's been done by my own fair hand. And what are you making, Bob? Uh, I don't know. Something, something with water in it. Water, yeah, with water and hendos, hendos, of course, and marmite. marmite, and marmite, 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 marmite. Not, co not coffee. Oh, not coffee, right? No, okay, that's just been, that went away. And it's got peppers and onions and leeks and the loveliest, chunkiest braising steak. Oh, huh, so it's like the Argentine almost like butchers. a stew. Yes, yeah. no, it's braising. It's steak. braising steak and gravy. No, I was going with you having the peppers and everything and, and leek. Yeah, but they'll disintegrate almost yeah. because it's going to go in oven for hours in a minute. And I'm going to make some really lovely creamy mash for Francesca that I might just have to have a little spoon of. She's naughty. Oh, it's got wine in it as well. Ah, that's what I can smell. Yeah, he nearly, not... he nearly put a pata negra familia in it, but I told him no, so he put the normal pata negra in it. All right, there. Yeah. Is that going in the oven now then, or is it staying on green? In the oven. This is a Christmas shop. <laughs> Looks like Maddie's dog. So I'm happy. I've just completely finished my Christmas shopping. I've not really started. Andy's not started, he's really organised. Well, no, my dad's sorted. That was sorted when I went back. Yeah, but I've done it. I don't think I need to buy anything else at all. That's great. That means I can relax and enjoy the run up to Christmas. If anybody's ever seen the Packy One Chip Challenge, where, you eat, where you eat one really hot crisp well andy's been challenged it's not the packy ones because you can't get those in england but it is apparently very hot it's in that that little bag there and those are, most of it's dust as those, well. those are diarrhea tablets <laughs> <laughs> for him to take afterwards <laughs> yeah, i have a slight aversion to chills but, it, but he also needs lots of milk He's not allowed to have and a drink of milk for eight minutes lots afterwards. Of the yogurt. Yeah, he's not allowed to have that for eight minutes afterwards. So what happened was this: how it started is, let's see, let's see, three years ago. We were in America. We were in America. We were in the we were in the MCO, flying from Orlando to New York. And the kids didn't know what was the plans were up in New York, and we saw I saw these haunted ghost pepper crisps. Oh, they were hot. But they're so, not the one chip challenge. Are they're they? not the one chip challenge. The one chip challenge are hotter, but. What happened then was, 
My cousin's husband, Richard, opened his mouth and says, can't see him being that hot. So Laura does no more than find an equivalent, because the one chip challenge by Packy, you can't get outside the USA. And they're $20 per crisp. It comes in a, a box like a tombstone. The crisp, it's uh, got crushed, so it's like dust. That's not good, that's not a good start, is it? What, so it, it lasts longer? Right, so. That was seven seconds. Two. Have you started your timer going on your phone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you need to wash your hands. Is it warm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I know why Richard was like drooling like a. Well, well, my dad, you can't say that. I've got all bits in my mouth. You're going a bit red. You are. <coughs> Coming up. <laughs> Would my dad like that? Is it hotter than his Lamb Rogue and Josh Extra Hot? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh yeah. Don't touch your eyes. You know that's going to burn when it comes out as well. And it's just a shame it was broke. That's two minutes. Is it as bad as you thought it would be? Um, I think at the minute it's plateaued. Hmm. Well, that weren't as extreme as I thought it were going to be. No. But so, it's still very hot. My lips are tingling a little bit. So, Richard, what were all the fuss about? Um, this is very non... Yeah. Richard, you big girl's blouse. You didn't even sweat or Seven anything. Seven minutes. Seven little minutes. Bit. Yeah, this guy that was on here was a, a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> they are warm. And if you don't do heat very well, you're going to struggle. Well, some people think a coma's warm, don't they? That's right. <laughs> Maybe that guy that were on that video thought a coma were warm. Hello. Typical Saturday night. Well, not typical because my dad's cooking instead of me. But somebody's cooking. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make a cauliflower and broccoli cheese. I'm just going to film it. And I'm going to make a coconut and lemon cake. And I'm just going to eat it. Yeah. And it's dead easy. So we've got braising steak. It smells gorgeous. Made by Bob. I could even, when we pulled up after shopping, I could smell it at the gate before we even came into the garden. What we need to be careful of is because it's keto and we have, the lemons are off the tree outside. Yeah. The sweeteners are very, very poisonous to dogs and cats. So we just have to tell Bob, you know, whatever we do, make sure the dogs and cats don't get any of it. Yeah, it's a bit it's like grapes and raisins and what would somebody call I don't think the sweetener that we're using is that dangerous. It's the xylitol that's dangerous. And the one that I've got is erythritol, which is different. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Uh, but the xylitol, which is the same sweetener that you get in um, sugar-free chewing gum. Yeah. And even if your dog chews... A packet of sugar-free chewing gum, it could be enough to kill it. It really is quite deadly to dogs. So, what's in this pudding? Uh, in this pudding is coconut flour, eggs, coconut milk, lemon zest, lemon juice, uh, sweetener, a bit of vanilla, essence, and desiccated coconut as well. And that's it. And it looks like batter for Yorkshire pudding. But I'm going to put the desiccated coconut in now and that'll thick it up. It's a dead easy cake to make this though. And well, then you put it in the oven? Yeah, 108 oh. take for 45 minutes. Actually on this diet, if you're fancying something sweet, it ticks the boxes, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice with a bit of cream on it as well, a bit of fresh cream. We're having cauliflower block to cheese. And the cheese sauce can't be your normal cheese sauce because normal cheese sauce has got flour in it. What do you use instead? Cream, Just... cream, cheese, cream cheese, and cheese. And Helen was just saying that actually Bob taught mm -hmm. Helen how to cook. Yeah, my dad taught me how to cook. When I want to talk. When I was littler than Francesca. Really? Mm. Yeah. We probably were cooking in the kitchen when I was probably about 
seven or eight. Seven or eight, yeah. yeah. I used to help you. When? When I said, Mommy, can I help you cook? Yeah, yeah, but you can watch. Funny enough, she's like that with me now. Can I help you? Yeah. You can watch. Go direct to that, Bob. You wouldn't think you could have that, would you? I'm sat with Bob. Over there is the Belen, the Torrevieca nativity scene. And we're sat in a cafe. I'm having a coffee. Bob's having a Belmonte. What's in a Belmonte, Bob? Uh, I don't know, but it's nice. <laughs> that there has got brandy in it. So we've had three coffees, two Belmontes, which is coffee with brandy. Look at that. 8.60, bargain. You'll find Belen's are usually put on by the councils in quite a lot of cities in Spain or towns in Spain. Sunday afternoon, Alan's cooking. <coughs> tappers. But the tappers today are going to be some similar, some different. So we're going to have magra, which is in the oven already. Which is already done. Which is pork in tomato sauce, basically. Uh, chorizo, which you can see over there in sherry. Is that what you're doing the onions for? Yeah. Uh, and we're also going to have, and this is like what we had at the quick ish because we don't know exactly how they cooked it, but we're having lamb's liver? Yeah. And garlic. And um, gambas. Oh yeah, gambas. So Helen's slow cooking the liver with the onions and the garlic. Don't know what it's gonna be like, because we've never done it before. I've cut all chewy bits out of it. So there are no tubules and things. Nice. That's some garlic. Ready for the prawns that I've prepped. In England, we used to call them tiger prawns when they were that colour. Whether they are or not, I don't know. Abondigas. Liver with garlic. Magra. Chorizo and sherry. Gambas al ajillo. Hey guys, guess we've got to do a, an outro yesterday. We did. We were too busy watching Iron Man 2. Prepping Bob ready for when we go to uh, Disney next year. So he knows what all the films are. Hope you've enjoyed this weekend's vlog. Quite a bit of variety. Don't forget, check in the descriptions below. There are links to the full version of the One Chip Challenge in case anybody decides to think that I cheated, didn't do it. Nope, not the case. And also, there's going to be a separate video, which we've already released actually for the Bell End, the nativity scene in Tony Bieca, And... There is also going to be a separate one showing you more about the Christmas shop that's in San Luis. Hope you've enjoyed it this weekend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That means that you'll get notified as and when we do new videos. But if you ring the bell as well, that means you'll get notified straight away as soon as we've done something. Hope you've had a good one. Be safe. Have a good week. And we'll speak to you next weekend. Hasta luego.